A little oh, IWC, I think it's called Petty Prince. I can make this one like 40. How much did you pay for it? Yesterday we collected two Pateks in London. Probably the nicest combination of date just in yellow gold. I do a lot of business with footballers. Could say in 1955, it could say in 1988. The orange steel aquanaut. What do you mean by fully stick that, John? It's full of stickers, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a brand new ladies Cartier. And Try it on. Trying to be serious here, Jack. This is a good one because they don't it? make this one now. In Something years better. to come, a watch that's fully stickered will be more desirable and demand more money. Got some watches that came in this morning and I'm just going to go through some of them now. They'll be on Instagram today with good deals on. So too late, too late will be the cry when the man with the bargains has passed you by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave a comment below if you know where that's from. Right, so first of all, 2022 bluesy, very popular. We've probably sold about 10 of these in the last six weeks and that will be 15950 are they consignment um, and purchases? It's like a mix? Yes, there are. Some of them are on consignment. Some of them are purchases. We don't treat them any different. They're sold as quick as possible to make a good deal for the person buying them and to get the best possible price for the person the watches belong to. 2022 Cartier Santos with the, the black strap. Nice watch, that is 6,450. And that's brand new and worn with everything with it. Wimbledon, yellow gold, bimetal, jubilee bracelet, fluted bezel, that's a 2020, that will be advertised for 13,950. It's a nice watch that, you don't see as many of those it is. compared to the regular steel. It's probably the nicest combination of date just and yellow gold, very popular. We never seem to have a lot of them in stock because they sell very quickly. So this one is unusual, I've never seen one of these before, Seamaster. It was a special edition for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. So it's white dial blue bezel, which is unusual. You usually get it with white and black or black and black or blue and blue. Mm -hmm. And it's very popular. These are very sought after. They're a lot rarer than the normal Seamasters. This is a full set. It's got a different box to the, the usual ones. And that will be for sale for £5,450. Five four fifty. So it's not bad because that's only just over list, really. Well, there, there's the there's the price in it. It was originally nearly five thousand, and if you look on Chrono, you won't find a one for. I mean, uh, the the current list price of a, that watch, just the normal one, is fifty one hundred. Yeah, it is. So it's it's but not bad. I think that's a, a nicer combination because it's unusual. Yeah. When you're out and about, you're not going to see anybody with that watch. So that one is actually a new shape, Explorer Two Black Dial. It is a 2021 and we've just bought that with no papers. So usually with papers, it would be around 11 and a half thousand. Without papers, it will be less than 10,000 pounds, maybe 9,950. If you have a word with Josh, maybe he'll give you a good deal. Is it's both right, from us. Always, always. It's both from us, it comes with our warranty. And we actually sold the watch to the gentleman in the first place who lost the papers. So. He wasn't very happy when he came back because it's worth less, but it's you don't wear the papers at the end of the day, so it's good value for somebody to be had. Here we've got a 2022 date just yellow gold bimetal, fluted bezel, white dial, oyster bracelet, brand new one worn 2020. How much is that? 13,450. So these watch trader boxes here, these are boxes that have been returned to you with the customer's watch in? Yes. So if you're looking at this way, these are the new the new boxes. Very snazzy compared to the uh, cardboard ones that we used to use. We're going up in the world. What would I like to see? <laughs> <laughs> new shape, new model, Air King, oh, right. 2022, brand new. We've had a lot of the models that have just been discontinued and we've got them well priced. This is the brand new one, more sought after at the moment. That will be retailing for £9,450. And that is literally, Couple of months old, brand new, unworn as you can see, full set. Okay guys, so it's Thursday morning, just outside of the store, so let's take a look inside, see what's going on. Oh, 
always busy in Watch Trader, especially in the morning. Each morning, all of our packages come. We get all our watches which are sold the previous day. We'll have them ready to be shipped. It looks like everybody's on the phones, working, doing deals, hopefully. Deals going down, Joshua? Two Amigas going down now. Yesterday we collected two Protects in London. So we got uh, the Aquanaut, the orange steel Aquanaut. This is a fan favorite. Brilliant watch. So that'll be going online today. Also a ladies automatic Lucy. So I see with that Aquanaut, you've got a fresh strap there. With these straps, they're cut to size. So you have to order a fresh strap. So whenever the next purchaser takes the watch, it's always nice to have a fresh strap with it so we can fit it exactly to his wrist. This is a white gold Daytona with the black sub dials. Gray dial, brand new with stickers. Submariner date, the 40 mil sub date. A James Cameron. This is the older reference, uh, fully stickered, the one, two reference. This one, I already know what it is. It's a date just 41 with an oyster bracelet and a smooth bezel with the blue button dial. So the Date Just 41s are probably one of the most popular watches which we buy and sell on a daily basis. Probably because just of all of the different combinations with the dials, the bracelets and the bezels, but such a good watch and um, really popular. So we're always looking to buy and sell the, the 41 Date Just. This one was a customer's order. It's a specific order, so it took a little bit of time to come. And um, so it's a brand new ladies Cartier with the diamond bezel. So that'll I be going. I think that one's a Ballon Bleu. Yeah, so this, this one will be going out today. I think she's probably waited around three to four weeks for this one. Oh, really? In. This is a nice AP with the blue dial. Is that a jumbo? Yeah, discontinued. So what year is that piece? This is 2012. A, yeah, 2000, 2012. 2012 right, okay. box and papers. John's had a few watches in also this morning. Okay, so some of the watches that have came in this morning, we've got 2022 white ceramic Daytona. Fresh, <laughs> like me, fresh. Not as fresh as that one because that one is fully stickered. So that one. What do you mean by fully stickered, John? It's full of stickers, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the stickers should be removed, but they're not for special customers. And that one is $33,950. So the reason somebody might buy a stickered watch is they want to put it away and keep it. Yeah. As, you know, In years to come, a watch that's fully stickered will be more desirable and demand more money. Or they might have OCD and want to know the watch is brand, brand new and never, never hasn't ever. been used. To be fair, people sometimes if they have their stickers on, they leave the stickers on the watch and wear it and try and say no it's fully stickered it's a brand new watch it's a brand new watch but the stickers scuff quite easily so you can tell. a lot of people that say the watch is brand new with stickers when they've had it and when they've worn it a little bit you can still really tell because the stickers are just a very thin plastic so they, they do mark quite easy but that one is fully fully stickered brand new on one another watch we've got on this morning is a black ceramic daytona but the daytona day today like it is. Happy day to our day, Jack. Thanks. Uh, this one is a 2019. It will need a light polish. The white one is typically a little bit more expensive than the black. The stickered one is 33,950. The 2022 unstickered is 32,950. The black 2019 is 25,950. Like I was saying a couple of months ago, we had nine or ten in stock. We haven't had any for a while. And now we've probably got four or five in the last couple of days. So I like buses, eh? Yeah, like buses. That John it. gets. John gets a bus to work. <laughs> That's why he's always late. <laughs> bus was late. Sorry, boss. The bus was late. So a couple of other watches, a little bit different. A Blampan Fifty Fathoms on a NATO. A very modern one. Yeah, unusual, but they have quite a following. That is six four fifty. It's got like a titanium case and it's like a good metal grey colour where's your good tag where's your good tag oh well then but don't just sell rolexes here you know got a lovely uh red dial formula one tag there john trying to buy that for tag of his collection <laughs> and try it on i've just put the links in and it fits good I'm trying to be serious here jack little oh, iwc i think it's called a, a petty prince it's a nice size, it's got it like a, a material rubber effect strap and it's just a lovely little watch. It comes with a, a different strap as well which is like a, a leather and that is less than retail. It's a 2022 unworn watch and it's 3850 
Wow, good pickup for someone. And it is. I like it. I really do. Nice, clean, smart watch. So we'll have Billy wrapping and packing all of the watches, make sure everything's all correct before everything goes out. And they will go out this afternoon and they'll be with the client tomorrow morning. So a busy day in Watch Trader, as always, always a busy morning. Then we'll start working through things like our emails, our Instagram. We'll have Sean in the back in photography, uploading all of the new watches. So everything which comes into stock in the morning, ideally we like to have it online by the following day. So it's fresh online and ready to be sold. An unusual little watch, so it's an old <laughs> AP Royal Oak by metal. I would say it's probably is that a quartz movement, John? Or is it an automatic? I don't think it's automatic. Yes, it is a quartz. And so, what we're looking at is like 1980s or something like that. I would say older than that, according to this, but I don't know how. Well, I don't know. Could say a few things. It could say 1955. It could say 1988. Um, I really don't know. It's probably about a 30. 32 33 mil the polish up lovely though it's been well worn is it uh, and what's the dial color is that blue no it's like a gray like a slate charcoal mm -hmm. rhodium whatever you want to call it oh yeah so i'm just going to do a little bit of research if you okay. don't mind yeah, yeah how much did you pay for uh back then i think it was about three thousand i believe i'm not too sure i'm not too sure because i bought it at the same time as the abel I'm having a little look and seeing what they are, but if you don't mind, I'm just going to send it to Hendo because although he's on holiday, okay. he'll just be able to tell me straight away. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Sorry to bother you. I've just sent you some pictures of a little AP, little little ladies Royal Oak, yellow, gold and steel. He's on the beach. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he'll have had five or six pints. It's lunchtime. About seven. He's had seven. You're still connected to me, you're halfway. I know, man, I know. We're on YouTube. <laughs> Said you're still connected, you're halfway. Do you have any idea how how much you're looking for for it? I'm willing to give you 5500 But it's going to be take a long process because they're going to send it to the shop. I said, no. You're going to stay loyal. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. I'd, I'm looking at them listed for retail for a lot less than that, you see. Cheapest one on Chrono is like 4000 What's it got? Just archive papers. No, nothing. No, that's... Oh, okay. So, did they agree to buy it for 5500 They said 5000 to 5500 but um, it's going to take quite a while, and I said, oh. I think if they're going to pay that, then you need to, you need to consider that, because that's a fantastic bid. My suggestion is that they won't, um, but you never know. But I'm quite willing to take at least mm -hmm. 45 yeah, I don't think it'd be worth. I, 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 I'm looking at them. I'm looking at them listed for retail for, for four thousand on Chrono, that have fees that can be bought with a bid. Right. Okay, mate. No worries. Thank you. Fine out. Yeah. What I thought is, if I was you, I would take it back and I would get the five grand off because they're listed for retail. I'm just seeing how many links it's got. Fits me, so it should have a. Um, enough links for most women we would put it a value on it of about two and a half thousand um they're listed on chrono for four thousand you can probably ring up and mm -hmm. and make a bid directly and buy them for between three and three and a half thousand so i think if they're going to give you anywhere near that sort of money you need to take it okay. but like i said my suggestion is they won't right okay how about this is a bell again just one uh, uh it was the same one that i brought the last time Okay. So this is, is this 18 carats? Yes, and it's a serious amount of weight. Nice sort of watch. Would have been very popular in the day. Diamond docks, mother of pearl dial. Just not as popular as they once were. Okay, so are you wanting to sell this one or? How much would I get for it again? Yeah, I would give 2,000 to buy it and uh, 2,500 on a part exchange. Right. Can they take the 2000 for now and then put the deposit for 500 for uh, they just 41 uh, oh, Did you want the money for this one now? Or? Yeah, I just needed two grand. So that's okay. Yeah, we can do that. If you want support exchange, that one will allow you 2500 for that as well. So it will be for both watches. For this one as well? Yeah. I'll bring it back first uh, at least. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It makes sense. They're offering twice as much as us mm. when they're listed for retail for for less than they've offered, so 
Let's see. Have you got your bank details? Yeah. Right Don't, really we don't do too many diamond pieces because not for us there's not so much of a market mm. up here. But the thing is, I sold one so fast and I thought, right, I'm gonna get another one. I got another <laughs> one and I always, always just try and keep one in stock mm. because when somebody asks for the one, they really want the one. Yeah. I can make this one like 40. It's 41.5, 40. it's brand new. But it comes in like the big box and all, yeah, the, yeah. all that yeah, sort of right, stuff. Hi right. mate, you alright? You can always take that and then decide to take the one later. Whatever. Oh yeah, I'd go for this one, I don't know why. No, I don't know. No, no, no. I think I'll get it. He's putting his glasses on, he's on it. He's business. I'll show you a channel on YouTube. Really? I have a watch off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh brilliant. I was telling the guys we'll have like 500 watches in stock, so this is just a selection which we brought yesterday. Hey, Hello, mate, you alright? So I've brought a few protects also, but mainly Rolex. Mm -hmm. A few AP. Hey, mate, sorry. Stu on this, on the blue roof? 35 grand, I think. Just a little bit above retail uh, price. Are they both, what, yeah, same year? I think they're both brand new, mate. Both 22. It's difficult to remember, That's 500 prices. If it was used, if, it, if they used to go for a little bit less, but brand new, they've dropped, like, within the last few months, that these were going for, like, nearly 40, 40K. <laughs> the last three or four months, they've dropped down to around retail price. This is a good one because they one? don't make this one now. Yeah. It's finished now. Oh, yeah. It's a really that nice one. What does that go for? Uh, I think yeah. I'm asking like 45 yeah. grand for it. But I've got 15, one for 40, 15, but the 15, dial 15, itself is probably worth like yeah. 15k That's just okay. for the dial. Yeah, yeah. Then that's the frost that on this one. Yeah. When did you get that? The frost is one. The frost one, nice. Yeah. This is quite a sick watch as well. I showed the guys. It's got the pack packaging on, but it's a new 50th anniversary one. Like that one's really nice for me. Yeah. I prefer that over the 15500. The smaller size, and that this one's brand new. This one's the discontinued one. For me, like the 38 mil is nicer on the wrist. Yeah, I think this this is the older one. Yeah. That's the older one, but it's still brand new. Yeah, with the stickers on. That's the other one. It's, and not much difference. Just yeah. just, just the clasp. I have a load of bigger protects as well back in the store. Mm. Just bring some. Yeah, just in Jasmine, mate. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes max. Just watch Trader. So on Instagram, just watch Trader. Oh, okay. That's it. I have it in steel as well. Crackers, aren't they? Crackers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's it's not too many. You've got more. Gold's a bit of you, Thank you, mate. Cool. Where we just are showing some of the Everton footballers some of our collection. We've brought them down for them to see. And also some bust downs. A couple of the players were interested in the bust downs. Quite funny actually because a lot of the guys have actually been watching our YouTube so that's pretty cool so cheers for watching really appreciate it nice to meet you all guys as well so this is something similar to what we do for a lot of the teams you know a lot of the guys like us to come down and have the personal touch so we'll come down with our security we'll show them a selection of watches in their own time they can relax chill out and, and take a look at some of our collection. We do a lot of business with footballers in sports stars with our partners, um, Sports World magazine, which is really cool. We get to see some cool people and go to, go to some cool places. So really appreciate the work that we do with those guys and it was fun.